out. It is 45 degrees. The snow is melting. The ice is melting. Not necessarily hockey weather, but I'm okay with that. Welcome into the Ultimate Autographs live break room. How you doing, everyone? I'm Joe. That's Dave across the monitors. What's going on, Dave? How's everyone doing today on this beautiful Tuesday? Welcome in, everybody. Uh, this is the hockey show this afternoon on this Tuesday, noon central time. But uh, more than just hockey stuff in the room, we also have our football stuff as well, doing our divisional breaks. Uh, with the hockey stuff, it is a 10-spot, top-spot wins. We'll get to those in a minute. We already have four series sold out. Let me tell you what else we have in the room this afternoon. Still have our Duke footballs, those autographed footballs, our complete NFL helmets and jerseys. And as well as our new, our 8P mini series, which are kind of high-end mini helmets, 35 bucks, or I'm sorry, $25. Those are not double box breaks, $25. We've got some Eclipse, some camos, uh, amp helmets, so flat black, flat white. Uh, I saw last night we pulled a, uh, Donnie pulled a Roger Stahl back on a uh, matte white Dallas Cowboys helmet. Very cool. Welcome everyone. Join us on the chat if you're out there. And uh, also some of our, our still still have our, our general admission baseball slab tickets. A uh, few few of those boxes still left, but already uh, four series sold out with the hockey. So uh, hope you're out there and joining us on uh, this Tuesday afternoon. Feels like a Friday because uh, it is uh, gorgeous weather here finally in Chicago. Hope the weather wherever you are is cooperating finally after that uh, really bad stretch we had there uh, throughout the country for four. Uh, about a week. So if you want to join us on the chat, uh, please do so. Start every show with our uh, virtual dice roll. Before we do that, though, uh, we have um, a new contest that we just started yesterday. It is called our Free Agent Frenzy Contest. Uh, we're going to run that through March 17th. So what we're basically doing in random football boxes, it could be a mini helmet, could be a uh, helmet box, anything football related, uh, there will be random cards, almost like they almost look like football cards, um, that will have a, uh, a player on it uh, with his potential destination, guys who are free agents in this uh, uh, coming up here in March. So we're going to play that first. We'll kind of explain it. Welcome in Chris Berry and Joey Fortex. I love that that nickname. Let's play that, and then we will start with the, uh, the randomizer and then open some boxes of some fun hockey memorabilia. It's free agent season at Ultimate Autographs. From now until March 17th, look for exclusive free agent cards that will be randomly hidden in various Ultimate Autographs mystery boxes. There are over 60 cards. Each card will include a possible landing spot for the following players. Oh, Kenny there Galladay, you go. Trent Williams, Dak Prescott, Aaron Jones, Cam Newton, Allen Robinson, Juju Smith-Schuster, Chris Carson, Chris Godwin, and of course, Ryan Fitzpatrick. For example, Dak Prescott could return to Dallas, but he could also land in Miami, Chicago, Indianapolis, or New England. If the predicted team on the card becomes that player's reality, then you will be entered into a top spot break for a signed authentic helmet via future Ultimate Autographs Platinum Mystery Box. See which card you may land on by purchasing your personal mystery box today at ultimateautographs.com. All right, so there you go. That We're pretty excited about that series. Uh, we've already got several cards posted on, on a whiteboard. We'll show you that later if we pull uh, pull a box that has one of those cards. So let's get the show started here. Let's do the uh, our virtual dice roll. We'll start that. Uh, UA rules always say uh, we have to have a 6 or a higher. Let's see how I do here on the uh, the first go around. That won't work. A three. No, I'm over two. This happened the other day too. With me, here we go. Oh, Eleven. E Eleven, which kind of makes me cringe because uh, that's such a high number on the randomizer. So let's put that. Uh, <laughs> you know, you're counting that like forever. Um, we'll get that changed up there in eleven on the uh, the dice roll today, on the randomizer. So there it is in the lower left of your screen there, right above the flashing neon, uh, kind of looks like neon, ultimate live live breaks. So here we go. Let's um, let's open a box. What do you say, Dave? Uh, let's let's, do pull, it. let's pull up the first list for uh, slap shot number one. Yes, sir. 
How about a box number? What box numbers do we have for that one? We've Joe? got, I got them right next to me. Dave doesn't have to get out of his chair. I don't have to do that either. They are they are right over to my left here. The box numbers we have, if, you, if you're in this break, you want to call out a number for the Slapshot Series. 1, 2, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. You see them on the crawl there on the screen as well. And if you're in this break, I can call out a, a number. If not, we'll, we'll do the old randomizer. So uh, we, will, we will get it going here. Again, this is uh, ten, 10 spots. We will open the box first, and then uh, we will randomize the, the 10 names. And after 11 <laughs> uh, randomizing, randomizing, I guess you'd call it, uh, the, top, the, top, the name on top wins. Kind of a night. Where's everybody on the chat? Kind of a quiet afternoon here on a Tuesday. Um, we are doing now 14 shows during the week. We, we debuted our Monday afternoon show yes, sir. Uh, with Donnie um, yesterday afternoon. So now, ultimate uh, autographs, live breaks every day, every every afternoon now, noon central time, Monday through Friday, still two o'clock uh, on Saturday, Sunday, and then every every day, seven days a week. 8 p.m. here in the in the break room. So, not sure if anyone is watching this afternoon on, or in the chat. So, Dave, I guess we will put some box numbers up, um, and we will we will randomize it. Here. I say we get started that way. Get that ball rolling. Let's do that. So and uh, once we cool get rolling stuff. here, make can post a little trivia. Uh, I got a hockey trivia question. I know, Dave, I know, Dave, you're not a big hockey guy, but hey, I got to learn. But that's okay. Right? It, it'll be, we'll, we'll, it'll be, uh, it'll be pretty simple. All right, all right. Your last one you said was easy. I know, I and you're like, what? That. That was the what? Answer. That just shows you have my knowledge, but that means I need to work. I've got to. <laughs> that's all right. NHL that's all right. I know, you know, even Donnie and Gary are admittedly not not big hockey guys, but uh, you know, we're 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 gonna learn. So. Um, no, no problem. All right, let's just do uh, 13. We'll throw one, one more in there. What's up, guys? Um, hey, guys, I entered two entries into an AP Mini Emma, but I don't think I was signed in. PayPal um, and use a different email than my registered email. Is that a problem? Um, Coach Mack, not, not quite sure how that's going to work. If you could just alt, uh, email Ultimate Autographs. Uh, customer service at ultimateautographs.com. Someone's probably listening right now on the, on the chat, hey, and uh, uh, they'll get an answer. Unless you know, Dave, do you have an answer to that? Coach Mack, what's your, what's your name? I did just get two orders for that AP. I just want to confirm what your name is, and I okay. can double check. You know what? Um, yeah, this is for the box, so. Eleven. In fact, you're... One more here. This is the box we will open to start the uh, the hockey this afternoon. Okay, box two. Kevin, yes, I did get that order. I put you into that break for those APs. I got your two spots in there for you, Kevin. Um, so you are all good to go there. I'm not sure what happened with that PayPal for you, but you are all good. All right, here we go. Let's start it. Uh, I like our new high def cameras. Now, this is this is uh, very sharp. This is. Slap shot box two of forty. Ooh, that camera's looking good, Joe. I, I can't know, right? Lie. Looking good. Yeah, we got to. Uh, I'm not. I want to be sure that I don't have my own face on that camera because I've got to. <laughs> got to start bringing in the TV makeup. <laughs> Oh, ho, ho. this is a Schwartz COA. How about the Blackhawk great Marion Hosa? Marion, are you kidding me? This is on a uh, Stanley Cup champion 2015 puck. This is really sweet. The great Marion Hosa just inducted into the Hall of Fame. Was he really? Yeah, won three Stanley Cups with the Blackhawks. Those um, those three those three in six years, what, 10, 13 and 15, the great Marion Hosa. That, can't open that by. It's, that's kind of sealed in there, but very sweet. That is uh, that is very nice. All right, so let's do this. Let's um, let's see who um, wins this. Here are the guys in the break.
and then we'll randomize it 11 times. Top spot wins the Marion Hosa puck. This is a ni nice item to start the afternoon here. All right, next one. Name on top wins the Marion Hosa puck. Mark Wald. Mark, are you out there in the chat? Congratulations. Very cool. Marion Hosa, of course, played with, uh, what, he went to the Cup Finals three years in a row with Detroit and Pittsburgh before signing as a free agent with the Blackhawks. Really? And then in the third try with the Blackhawks, um, they won it, and he finally uh, so been five hoisted finals? the Stanley Cup. Yeah, I, wow. I believe it's five times. Three with the wow. Blackhawks. They won all three. And then it was Pittsburgh and Detroit. And just inducted into the Hall of Fame. Mark, Mark, that is really sweet, man. Congratulations on uh, the signed Marion Hosa puck on a 2015 uh, Stanley Cup puck. Mark Wall. Mark, you had one spot in there and uh, paid off for you. What's going on out there? Uh, if you're just joining us here this afternoon, we are doing hockey stuff. We already got four series sold out. That was number one. But we still have football stuff as well in the room. Our complete helmets, complete jerseys that are minis, these AP minis. Uh, Dave, they are they are dope. They are really cool, cool looking mini helmets. I was looking at the, uh, I don't know if we broke it last night or not, uh, the Adrian Peterson Chrome mm -hmm. one. That was a real that, Did nice we break one. that last night? I'm not sure if we not broke sure. it, but I do remember. That's in the series, Adrian Peterson Chrome. It's funny, we're taking the pictures of it, and the glare mm -hmm. was so much, you had to make sure, like, your your reflection wasn't <laughs> in the helmet because uh, that's that's how cool it is. But, that was uh, a cool one, definitely. Very nice. I do have a hockey trivia question for you. Okay, so, and by the way, we have, a, in this hockey series, we have a, Signed puck by Jim Craig, who was a, the goalie on the uh, U.S. Olympic team that won gold in 1980. Yesterday was mm -hmm. the, the 41st anniversary of that of the uh, Olympic team ice. beating the Russians, the Miracle on Ice game. For, uh, 41 years, I can't believe it's been that long. That's I crazy. remember it. I was in high school at the time when, when they did that. That's so cool. um, it was outstanding. But we have a, a Jim Craig puck. In this series, so that, I mean that that is cool. Maybe we'll we'll break that this afternoon. Um, uh, Henry, I uh, love the hockey. Would love to see some jerseys and yeah, minis. I I agree. Hopefully, we can do that. It, would it be cool to have Gretzky in the in the UA break room? Maybe uh -huh. that down the road we'll we'll see. Um, but we do have some jerseys in here. That, again, the the boxes. It's like how do you fit a jersey in there? How do you fit a photo in there? It's a certificate. Uh, and some of these, and then we have some product in the room that we would show you. So it might just say, for example, Steve Eiserman jersey, um, and and that would be there. So you, you would get that. We have that. A couple of those. Uh, and then we have an Eiserman. We have uh, a Dennis Hull Team Canada one from uh, the Summit Series in 1970. We've got a Chris Kelly signed Bruins jersey. Chris Kelly won a cup with the Bruins in 2011, uh, the year of the, the Blackhawks one. So. Um, it's pretty cool, but anyway, here, so here's my trivia question. This is, hey, this is related to the the Miracle on Ice team. There was a forward on the team, a couple of really, really good guys, players who went on to uh, have good NHL careers. Uh -huh. uh, Davy Christian had a great career with the with the Washington Capitals. Later played with the Blackhawks. He was kind of done by at that point. He played 15 years in the league. There was another, there was another forward on that uh, U.S. Olympic team that played 17 years in the National Hockey League. Uh, had an equally great NHL career. Who, uh, who is that guy, Dave? My only guess, the only reason I even know anybody on this team is because of the movie. I can't even. Lie. Okay, yeah. Well, there you go. I can't imagine that it's Michael Rizzioni, is it? No, Michael Rizzioni actually who never played in, in the in NHL, the NHL but so. uh, yeah, but but you know that's a great point because of that that movie Miracle was it called Miracle on Ice or just Miracle? Just Miracle. Just Miracle. Uh, really helped educate people, not only hockey oh, yeah. fans, other people about about that team. Um, and of course, uh, Kurt Russell playing uh, Herb Brooks, the coach, uh, was awesome. outstanding. But yeah, such an incredible movie, really fun movie. No, so, that, you, so that's so that's, that's the question. That's my only guess that I've got. Yeah, for which you. which former U.S. Olympian who played on the uh, the Miracle on Ice team, nineteen eighty, uh, played seventeen years in the National Hockey League, had a, had a really 
Really good career. Um, so did Dave Christian. Again, there were some other guys. Kenny Mora won cups with the Islanders. Kenny Mora won a cup with the Islanders the same year the uh, Olympic team won gold um, at, uh, at Lake Placid. So uh, very cool. So, you know, if, if you're a hockey fan uh, and if you've been a hockey fan for a long time, because, again, we're talking 41 years now, this guy played, again, 17 years in the league after that. Um, if no one's guessing the correct answer, I will uh, maybe throw in a couple uh, – Hints, but anyway, let's uh, let's do another hockey pub. Let's do that hockey thing. What do you say, Dave? I, I like that idea. I like it. Let's do uh, this is um, slap shot number two. I'm having a problem with my um, little box there again, moving to um, on the left side of the page there. So just go. Uh, can you scroll over? Let me see if that works. No, because that takes it more off the page. Scroll the other way, maybe, or yeah, I way? can't scroll anymore there. So. so go up and hit on that A, and then right click and do Insert Left. Let's try that. There we go. Thank you, David. Yeah. You can just walk me through that from uh, from the <laughs> other side, like you were uh, like a TV operator. I got you, Pavlich. Great, great guess. Uh, not Pavlich. Drury, no. Uh, oh, Chris Wells called out a box. Thirteen. Thank you, Chris. 13 on uh, the pucks. Let me put this, uh, let's open it, and then we'll put the guys in the random. Oh, Chris Spearing. You got it. Neil Broughton. Chris, you're a hockey guy. Mike Ramsey, another good, Mike Ramsey, another guy who had a really good career in the, the National Hockey League with Buffalo. Yeah, Neil Broughton played for the North Stars, 17 years in the league. Uh, his brothers played in the National Hockey League. Uh, Neil Broughton, yes, yeah, spent 17 years in the National like two-time All-Star. It's a long uh, time to Won a cup with the hockey. Devils in 95. Um, yeah, there were some really good players. Jack O'Callaghan played with the Blackhawks here. This is, uh, so box 13. There's the seal. I got top spot wins. So these are 10. 10 spots. We'll randomize it. And the winner on top after uh, the randomizer today is 11. Um will win uh, what's in the box here. Got a JSA, COA. All right, we got Vincent Trocek, the uh, former... He played with, uh, now he's with Carolina, Vinny Trocek. This is that all-star puck from, looks like, 2016. All-star game in Tampa. Vinny Trocek, really good sniper. Really good player. Vinny Trocek, Vincent Trocek there. Who is he with? Florida, I want to say. He was with Florida. Now he's with Carolina. All right, good luck, guys. Let's see. Uh, we'll take this. We'll ram this. This is slap shot number two. And let me clear that out. All right. Good luck, guys. 11, 11 rolls of the uh, virtual dice. Next click, winner on top wins. Dennis Dayton. Dennis, congrats. He out there? What's Dennis's nickname again? Is that uh, tattooed? No, that's, I, believe, uh, I believe. Oh, he's Packer 2 Bay, I think, Dennis, he right? He is Packer 2, yes. I believe. I, I'm still learning the the, uh, the usernames here. I think so, though. I think so. Dennis Dayton. Dennis, he had a couple spots in that break. Uh, and you win it. Vinny Trocek on an all-star puck. Very cool. All right, there goes my trivia question, Dave. Maybe I'll throw on a Gretzky one later. Hey, that was a good one. I like that one. That was good. 
It's fun to know a little bit more about Maricol yeah, on ice. Fun to, re, uh, to reminisce about some of those guys who played uh, on that team. And again, we have a Jim Craig puck in this series. Uh, signed on the U.S. Uh, to, it's, on, it's on the website there when that, in that graphic. Uh, U.S. Olympic uh, puck, logo, logoed puck. Again, we have uh, all our football stuff here this afternoon, too. If you want to get on one of those breaks, uh, jerseys, helmets, the AP Mini, the, the Duke footballs. We still have those, too. How are we doing? Uh, anything else close, Dave, getting filled? or No, any? those no? APs are getting there a little bit. AP is about halfway done. We've got a couple other other buy-ins peppered out throughout the, the breaks, but we're really just looking at some slap shots. we got one more left on the last slap shot. Halfway full on those APs and everything else. The... Uh, as Donnie likes it when I say, the world is our oyster. <laughs> Donnie, by the way, I think he's back tonight, tonight he right? Be. I'll be sitting where Dave's sitting. So um, you can join us tonight at, at 8 o'clock Central Time as well. Yeah, really not hockey weather in Chicago, which we're okay with, right? I mean, the, the, the country has needed a, a little bit of a warm-up, to say the least. So hopefully we're getting, get, getting back to some more normal temperatures, especially for late February. I can tell you, I'm certainly right. okay with the the heat wave that's come through here. Yeah, that's yeah, absolutely. Sure. Well, you said we do uh, slap shot number number three. I like it. Let's do yeah. it. Let's see. Um, Keep it moving. What do I still in here? I still have one. We just opened. Let me uh, let me update the the box numbers too here. Still got one. Eleven two is gone. Let, yeah, 111, 12, 14, and 60. We, we, uh, we got rid of 13. All right, that, that list now should be updated on the, uh, on the crawl on the, uh, the bottom of the page there. We're kind of in the middle of the page, actually. All right, slap shot number three, if you're in this break. That keeps happening on my uh, on my list here on my right sheet. Insert left, right? One left or one right, Dave? Um, one left. One left. There we go again. I don't know why that keeps happening, but regardless, if you're in this break, uh, you want to call on a number. We got Scott Snyder has a pair of spots. Richard Chris Wells has a pair. Uh, oh, Richard Postel has two actually. Ricky Guerrero. Bryant Bigby Wallace, very cool. Sounds like a ball player. Uh, has three spots. If you guys are out there, you want to call on a box number. If not, you're going to make me randomize this again. I'll, you know, with with, with the numbers where I have to, I'll input the boxes and then we'll we'll randomize it. So if we don't get a box number here in a few more seconds, uh, we'll, we'll just do that with the with the box numbers. I got, and this is nice now because they're right next to me. They're so small, I can do it. Chris Wells, that a boy. Thank you. Eleven. On the uh, on the slap shot. Thank you, Chris. Let's do eleven. So again, we'll open the box first, and then uh, we will we will do the randomizer. So thank you, guys. Thank you, Chris. All right, let's do it. Slap shot number three. This is box eleven out of forty. <laughs> The garbage can is like right in front of me, and I missed. That's why, that's why I never played basketball, Dave. That's what I'm saying. Dave, you would have like put that down on the volleyball court. It's like a, an attack, they call it, right? Yes, they Dave, do. Dave, the uh, former volleyball player. That is what they call it. That's about all I'd be good for. If you, got, <laughs> you told me to shoot it into the hoop, though, I'd have a tough time. I can't lie. I look like a, a newly born horse on the basketball court, I can tell you that much. <laughs> All right, how about a uh, Toronto Maple Leaf uh, and a Toronto Maple Leaf puck? That's Dion Phaneuf, former defenseman, was a really good player for a long time. Probably better at the start of his career. It's a, kind of a small signature, but not bad. Cool, cool puck, Toronto Maple Leafs puck with a, uh, what's the COA here? I cannot see the COA, but there, there's one inside there. I, 
I would take it out of here, but I can't. I don't want to undo the tape, and then I. Anyway, but there's a COA in there. Dion Phaneuf. David, I think we had mentioned this. Was I, I mentioned this last week on the uh, on the show? Dion Phaneuf married to a uh, actress. The hockey guys do good with the ladies. I'm just saying. Uh, Alicia um, Cut Cutbirth is her name. She's been on some Netflix stuff, and uh, I think she was in old school. But uh, yeah, Dion Dion Phaneuf. There you go. Who I think is just he's not playing any longer, but had a long career with um, yeah, Toronto, obviously Flames. Dion Phaneuf. All right, so let's let's do this. Let's uh, see who wins this one. Here are the guys in the break. We'll put them on the randomizer. Put that up on the screen so you can see it. All right, 11 times top spot wins. Seven. Next click, name on top wins the Dion Phaneuf puck. Chris Wells. Chris, there you go, bud. Called out the box. Active in the chat. And you win the uh, Dion Phaneuf puck. I was just at a uh, antique mall the other day. Oh, yeah? I saw Bill Gadsby was a, uh, is a Hall of Fame defenseman. Played in the 40s, the 50s, in the 60s. Hall of Fame defense. I saw a puck there at this place for 50 bucks. Beautiful signature with the Hall of Fame inscription. Uh, Bill Gadsby passed away uh, about four or five years ago, now, like four years ago. And I'm thinking, I got to get that. So I hesitated. As soon as I get a day off here in the next couple of days, I think I'm going to go back. I can't believe there's many people hanging out in, in an antique mall uh, where they have a Bill Gadsby puck and everyone's like saying, but to me, it's cool. It's, and it's not a Blackhawks puck with the old Blackhawks logo. Uh, I'm thinking 50 bucks. It's pretty good. Not a bad find. And, and again, the, the memorabilia I like, it, this when it's a really good signature, uh, I dig it. The puck, the inscription, all that kind of stuff, to me, matters. I've been Hall of Fame defenseman. Uh, but yeah, Bill Gates. And, and, and I read a story on him online Um him sharing some old stories, and uh, it was just fantastic. It's like, if you weren't a fan of this guy, and I didn't know much about Bill Gadsby, but if if um, if I, uh, after reading about him, you'd want to know more about the guy, because he was just a cool dude. He had some great stories about the old days with Stan Makita, Gordie Howe playing against those guys. So anyway, Chris, Will, uh, Chris Wells, congratulations on the uh, cool uh, Dion Phaneuf Maple Leafs logo uh, puck. Nice hit there. Fire! So that's slap shot number three. We still got, again, 40, 40 items. I don't want to say pucks because we have other stuff in the series. 40 items in the series. Um, and we just, we're only doing it on Tuesdays here. So last week, I think we opened like 10 boxes. We've, we've gone through three so far this afternoon. Um, so it, it, it's, it's pretty cool. We got some really still, all the stuff I've, I think we've opened. It's pretty cool. We got some. We got some more stuff. We got a ha Dominic Hasek framed photo that's in the room here. Maybe we might pull that today or next Tuesday. Um, so thanks for participating, uh, as always. Mm. So how about that was three? But I marked down two. Dave, uh, who won that for you? Yeah, Dennis State won that. Three goes to uh, to Chris Wells. Just brought over that AP number one as well. That's ready too. Ready to go. Okay, we're still. Uh, how are we doing on slap shot five, which is posted? Slap shot five is full, and I posted number six. Awesome. There we go. So uh, we still got two more pucks to break open. Uh, maybe maybe a third. What if we do the uh, the AP? I like that. Let, let's do that. Let's do the uh, Mix AP. It up a little bit. Um, AP mini mini. One. So yes. let's let's do that. Let's. Um, I gotta get my order back. I'm switching back and forth, randomizing it first. Um, so let's. Um, 
Let's do the divisions here for we'll do some our fo our first football box on the afternoon. Then we'll get back to uh, the pucks. How about that? All right, so we will randomize the divisions 11 times. 11. I think we ought to make the roll, Dave, in the UA break from just six or seven because <laughs> the 11, I'm just like, hi, ah, sick. You know, it's you just. You work out. You do. <laughs> All right, there, there's our list. And again, if you're in this break, you want to call on a box number for the AP Mini. And these are kind of uh, specialty mini helmets. I'm some really cool, different kind of minis that you normally wouldn't see necessarily anyway in our normal double box breaks on the mini helmets. Um, you got some um, Eclipse, Camos, Amps, Flat White, Flat Black, some really cool stuff. So here, the, I'll tell you the box numbers for the, uh, the in that AP. We have, where's my list up here? Eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. If you're in this break, Jason has what four spots? Daniel, Toby Carter, Kevin McRory has a pair of spots. Jason, thank you, buddy. Uh, box ten on the uh, 8P. Coming right up. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, David, for uh, for checking that down. Box box ten We've got on the 8P. There you are. Thank you, buddy. All right, here we go. JSA, cert. I like that word, cert. Again, these bags, you have to attack these bags when they're tight, aggressively. Like it's the potato chip bag, you got to go after it. I go, I go too daintily on it, and I can't open the darn uh, bag. How about this? Guess who's on the loose? The juice. Uh oh, oh Jay Simpson. Let's go. That's my Donnie Rollins imitation. That'll be uh, the only time I do that all day. <laughs> OJ Simpson on Matt Black, Buffalo Bills. Look how good that looks on the camera, too. Oh, it looks so good. Wow. AFC those East, mats. right? Those are so cool. Kevin McRory. Congratulations. You know, OJ, you know, I know people, you, you, you know, it's like I wouldn't touch an OJ thing. I understand. But he does have a good signature, and he is... You know, off off the field stuff aside, I mean, he's one of the most iconic running backs ever, right? I mean, O.J. Simpson. I would honestly go as far to argue that his off the field life has added value to his yeah. His pieces. Well, I, and, I, and I'll tell you, and I'm not saying I, we're not here to judge, and you know that's a, but I mean, there are people who collect a lot of like this kind of. If you're into the that those kind of, you know, murderers or whatever, or whatever you're into. I People I collect that kind of stuff, too. So that kind of uh, would maybe um, speak to, like, people who collect multiple things, not necessarily football helmets, but still. A lot uh, of different uh, areas that he can fall under. Yeah. In terms of collectors. And, I mean, who doesn't know who O.J. Simpson is? Right. I think you could ask just about any American... Over the age of, what, 15 now? Yeah, I mean... 18? They have to still know, right? I mean, the whole Netflix thing that came out about him, that was really well done. That was amazing. That, that, that's the that same one, one that they... Was that the dip, is that, that one the differently one that, from the one on... Uh, um, the one that ESPN ran? The, the, it was so an eight-part... Eight 30, the, 
There's the uh, there's a couple actually. Um, there's one about like I think it's called like the day that sports stood still, where like the OJ thing yep. happened and yep. then, like three other things happened. And yes, that was, one right. Yes, right. So that one was like kind of across the board. And then there was one that was just about OJ and it was just a documentary. And then the one that I really liked was the, I forgot what it was called. It was like the People vs. OJ. It was the one where they yeah. acted it out. Like it wasn't oh, a yes. documentary. It was the one with... Right, it was with actors like David Schwimmer. Was, was he the guy right? from Friends? Yeah. Yes. Right. So he right. played Rob Kardashian. Or, exactly. Um, is that what he went by? He went by Rob Kardashian, right? Or Robert? Yeah, Robert Kardashian, right? The, the, um, one of the attorneys. Yeah, but so he played him. I thought that was really, really good. Um... Obviously, like when you know kind of the story as a documentary, it makes it a little bit better because oh, and, totally. and you know what's totally. dramatized, what isn't, and what's kind of you know. Yeah, but it is that is an unbelievable story. Yeah, Sean Norum noting the uh, Aaron, Aaron Aaron Hernandez signs. I don't know for thousands of dollars. I I didn't know that. Uh, I'm not surprised. I will say this about the OJ documentary, the ESPN one was just so well done. Mm -hmm. The first episode, they were all like two hours long. Yep. The first episode spoke nothing of OJ. I don't think OJ's name was even mentioned. All it did was talk about the history of the LAPD and uh, African Americans in LA at that time. Mm -hmm. It was just fascinating to know that history and then knowing why, what eventually happened with, with OJ being acquitted, why it happened. And it was just very again, interesting so to well see done. behind the scenes of, of yeah. what the lawyers, did. oh, it's just crazy. It is so, so wild. Crazy. I cannot imagine being alive. And watching it as it happened. I remember that I my, my wife and I were at a uh, my cousin's 25th anniversary, um, big celebration at a hotel in, in the Chicago suburbs. And like we're, we get to the hotel, we're checking in, checking in, the whole thing is going on. And yeah, it was just hypnotic. I mean, it was just, and really that was the start of uh, reality television yeah. because networks saw like, wow, people are into this. What else would they be into? Just like watching people, watching a, a car chase. Uh, watching police pursue a Ford Bronco. I mean, it was mm -hmm. it was uh, pretty incredible. But we've had a lot of OJ stuff in the room here, but it's always kind of fascinating uh, to see it. So anyway, congrats, uh, Kevin, on that uh, OJ OJ mini on the matte uh, black that he uh, right out clips. I wonder what a pair of uh, isotopes with this thing. Sure. <laughs> Chris, you're killing me, but I hear what you're saying, <laughs> right? I mean, I know. I mean, you, you shouldn't make even light of it. And you, you think about the Goldman family and you know Nicole Brown since. But I mean, they're not laughing at that, right? But you know who really I be hear you. Light of it though is OJ. I don't know. If oh yeah, seen yeah. How I he mean, talks about it these days. That is baffling to me that he makes jokes about it. Like that's oh, that's I, I know, so I know. Nuts. I know. That's so... I can't even wrap crazy. my head around that. So, oh, it's so crazy. But just, just fascinating. Sorry, what what a fascinating individual. I know we can we, we could talk like for, for 20 minutes I really on could. that. <laughs> this is the UA Live Break Room. We're opening boxes of sports memorabilia. Uh, how about we get back to uh, a hockey puck? We've done three boxes so far, right? Um, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do Slapshot 4. Five, Dave, you said... Is sold out as well. Another yep. one is posted we also on have, the website. We also have AP2 sold out as well. So maybe, awesome. maybe two awesome. hockeys and then bounce back to football. Beautiful. Let's do that. See where we're at. So let's do slap shot four. And once again, let me figure that out on my uh, on my screen here. Insert You're gonna left. Have to add you said. one every time. I think it's Joe. insert left. There we go. All right, slap shot four. You see the names on the right. If you want to call on a box number of the boxes, we have 1, 12, 14, and 16. If you want to call out a number, if you're in this break, we can call out a number and we'll uh, open a uh, another uh, hockey box here. Toby Carter has got two, two spots in this break. Jason Struth with a pair. James Stanhope, I wonder if... James related to Chris. James with a pair of spots. Bradley Geyer with a pair of spots. Joseph Thiel. Looks like everyone's got about everyone got uh, the guys in this break. Each guy has two spots in the break. We thank you. If you want to call on a uh, box number here, if you're in this break for slap shot number four. Again, we got one, twelve, fourteen, and sixteen. How about a box number, guys? If not, you're gonna make me 
do this virtual dice roll um, and, and pop in some numbers. And we'll do, do some do that hockey thing. All right, let's. Uh, all right, you're forcing me to do it. Let, let's do the randomizer. So let me uh, let's pull this up on the screen. And I will put these numbers. We got one, two is what? 12, 14, and four is uh, 16. All right, I'll randomize this 11 times. And then we'll open the box. Okay, box one, simple enough. All that for box one. Uh, all right, good luck to everyone in this break. Here we go, slap box one of 40. Where's that seal? Well, it is sealed. <laughs> we have a uh, JSA COA. This is a uh, Kyle. Oposo on a New York Islanders puck. Pretty good winger. Is he still with the Islanders? I should know that. Kyle Oposo. Dave's like, don't look at me, bro. Don't look at me. <laughs> How did you know? You couldn't even see me. <laughs> you got that uh, right there. That's an Islanders puck. I, I want to say, is he um, on another team now? You know, Buffalo. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Uh, yeah, Kyle Oposo, pretty good, tough, kind of rugged winger. Well, he's 32 already. I remember when Oposo was drafted. I think he was a first-round pick. Um, yeah, former alternate captain of the Sabres, or is, I should say. Kyle Oposo, right winger. Yeah, seventh overall pick in that 26 draft. Very cool. All right, let's see who wins the Oposo puck. Cool, Islanders puck. Slap shot number four. Yeah, Buffalo Sabres. Thank you, Chris. Okay, here's the lineup. Good luck, guys. 11 times for the uh, Kyle Oposo. Next click, winner on top wins. Toby Carter. Toby Carter. Congrats, Toby. Very cool. Thank you guys. We're, we still got another series uh, with the hockey sold out. We'll get to that. Um, we got slap shot number four there. Yeah, that was slap shot four. Very Toby nice. Carter with the victory, with the dub. How about uh, AP2 is ready? We got AP2 and then slap shot five. Okay, let's go with uh, let's ready. go with the with the AP. There's the, there are the names uh, in this break. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday afternoon. Steven with a pair of spots. Dakota, love that name. Dakota Welke with a uh, pair of spots. Jonathan Lang and Jason Polara with a pair of spots. Well, this is the AP uh, break number two this afternoon. If you're in this break, again, you want to call out a box number. 
the uh, AP helmets, we have 8, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Someone wants to call it. Uh, Jonathan, thank you. Box 11, Box 11. for the uh, AP. Thank All you, man. Right. Coming right. Box ah. 11. Oh, there you oh, go. Fumble. All good. All fumble. good. Box 11. So let's, uh, let's put the names in the randomizer. We'll get our divisional division set. And we'll uh, randomize it E uh, 11 times. Hey, Gams, about those helmet series, we do have that complete helmet series up. And then we are actually working on a couple of new series right now. We're trying to release a bunch this week. So keep your eyes peeled. We're uh, we're trying to work on something pretty nice here. We'll, we'll drop it soon. We'll let you guys know. But Yeah, Gams, yeah, are, are you talking about series. Are you talking about the, the Platinums? We have the, the regular NFL uh, complete helmet mm -hmm. series. Um, but yeah, the, the Platinums, we got some more stuff. Uh, maybe we'll have more information tonight, 8 p.m. Uh, on the break. But uh, good, good question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are always like fun. I like it. I mean, I know the, the, like the authentics, too. I mean, I know they're, they're, they cost more to get, obviously, but they, they're cool. I mean, any time we open an authentic here, it's like, dang, that's pretty, that's pretty dope. Something about the feel of an offensive. Yeah, it's right. right. It's hard to believe that guys run around at top it speed really with is. that. Because you don't think like five, six pounds is a lot of weight until you lift it. It's like, yeah. You know, I like to like, think I, I would fare pretty well for myself on the football field. I've never played organized football before. And then I think about like wearing pads while doing every, like I, that's wild to me. Yeah, the helmets, the, the big shoulder pads. Eight pound helmet on your head. All right. Jonathan, thanks for going for calling out the box. Box eleven, AP. Again, this is uh, these are kind of all specialty mini helmets. It's a JSA COA. We have a Detroit Lion. On a Rydell Eclipse, Kenny Galladay. Nice hit. Nice, nice hit. Very nice looking. I would look know. Look at that I might signature. be showing my, my age here. I would go as far to say he's got a chance to be the second best Lions receiver in franchise history. Ooh, well, behind uh, the, the recent Hall of Fame induction, Calvin Johnson. It's got to be him as number one, right? I can't think of any other major players in that category. Yeah, I mean, I the Lions be... just you don't have a long list of great players. But Unfortunately. <laughs> uh, Kenny Galladay, a free agent, so we'll see if he comes back with yeah, the we'll Lions. See. He's, uh, he's on our board, actually. Yeah, he's on our free agent frenzy yes. board. I would be shocked if they let him go. and st I mean, they would be really clean in house then while also spending a lot of money. Right. I think you, you certainly want him back. Oh, yeah. It's a, ooh. Not everybody won that break. It's uh, just uh, Jason Pallara huh? on the NFC uh, North. Very nice. Yeah, Kenny Galladay went to uh, my alma mater, Northern Illinois University. Oh, really? Yeah. Very nice. Not too many guys have come out of NIU who have had really great uh, NFL. Chris Herman Moore. Yeah, Chris, there you go. Yeah, Dave, I think he's got you there. Herman, Herman Moore. Was he, uh, yeah, yeah great guy. wide receiver. Okay. Yeah, great wide receiver. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, Kenny's still got a long, uh, long way to go before he gets up in that conversation completely. But he's got to stay healthy. No, he's, he's yeah, you're right. He was kind of banged up healthy. this year a little bit. That's very sweet. Where do you think he ends up? That's a good question. Where do you think Kenny Galladay ends up? I would love him to see him in Chicago here. I mean, I don't know what the Bears are going to do with Allen Robinson. I think Allen Robinson rightly wants out of Chicago. The Bears wouldn't have a need for a, a number one wide receiver. Um, I. Uh, I, I'd be shocked if he went anywhere but Detroit. I, I can't lie. I think I think he'll probably stay there. I think Jared Goff is probably going to want him there. Not that Jared Goff gets to call the shots, really, <laughs> given that he's yeah. No, I mean, who, I mean, any team would would love Kenny Galladay, right? Mm -hmm. I could Washington, see maybe, maybe, maybe something with uh, 
I've heard a lot of rumblings of Juju not being in Pittsburgh anymore. And I right, he also Kenny a free agent. Very well. Is Juju's? I think is he on our board yet, or he's still in? Uh... Juju is on our board as well. Yeah. If you don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about our our new contest we started yesterday, called our free agent frenzy contest, where there'll be a random card. It looks like a football card mm-hmm. in in NFL boxes like like that. It could have been in, in that one. It was not. Anything we open that's football. Helmet, jersey, mini, authentic, whatever. Uh, and then you have a shot with, if you have the car where that guy ends up being, uh, ends up signing with a new team or his old team, um, you would be entered into a contest to uh, to win some more cool cool stuff. So, uh, yeah, kind of a fun thing we're doing. we got the tote board. Maybe we'll show that later if we have time or, or tonight. Uh, I know Gear Bear was showing it off last night. By the way, we gotta, we got to change it on the a producer. That's not Gear Bear today. Of course, that is... That is Trivia Dave uh, uh, across from me. Forgot to change that up. But uh, in any event, that was uh, AP number two. Thank you for participating. How about let's do another puck? Or not again. Not a, I keep calling it a puck. It, uh, yeah, another piece of uh, our hockey series, the Slap Shot. This will be uh, number f- five. Number five. And that's actually the last one that we've got um, all filled up there, Joe. How, how are we doing on uh, six? Six is about halfway done. Six is exactly halfway done. Okay. AP number three wide open. Complete helmet two and complete jersey one. Have one and two spots. Um, sold. So we've got a lot open there. Got a lot open that Hall of Fame Canton one and Duke football in general admission. So okay. uh, so halfway. So yeah, the, the hockey spots are, are are ten spots. So ten available spots. Five are done in uh, in number six. Correct. Correct. Okay. So let's do five. I've got, uh, let's just finish off these boxes next to me. 12, 14, and 16. If you're in this break, you want to call on a box number for this Slap Shot series, our uh, fifth one this afternoon. Chris Sparing is in this one again. Thank you, Chris. So Ricky Guerrero, Amanda Keitel uh, with a pair of spots. Joe Thiel, Daniel Hunter, Toby, Jason again. Uh, how about a box number? Thank you, Jason. 12. 12 on the, the box number. Thank you, man. Here we go. There's a seal. We have a puck. Oh, this, it's a JSA COA. This is one of my favorites I've seen. This is Mike Bossy. Wow. Now, I don't care if you're young or you're my age or somewhere in between. Mike Bossy was one of the best snipers ever played this game. Mike Bossy, if I am not... uh, I believe I am correct on this. His first nine years in the National Hockey League scored 40 or more goals. And he, he had, I think he had 50. He may have scored 60 one year. Uh, and, then, and then he was kind of done because he had, a, I think he had some, a bad back, some other injuries. He only played like, I think he only played 10 years in the National Hockey League. One, it was on those great uh, cup winning teams for the Islanders. Uh, that is just outstanding. And older player, great signature. I would, I mean, I'm a Blackhawks fan. But I would totally dig this. I mean, man, when I saw we had this in inventory, I'm like, are you kidding me? We got a Mike Bossy puck? I mean, some names just excite you, right, whether it's an NFL guy. But, uh, man, I love this guy, Mike Bossy. That is that is just pretty darn pretty darn cool. So let's – all right, let's, let's randomize this list and let's see um, who wins the Bossy puck. Enough talking, Joe, already. Clean that out. All right, good luck to everyone. 11 times top spot wins. Yeah, had over 65 five times. 60 goals, five times in a season. I mean, that... I mean, he is... Love Mike Bossy. 
All right. Nine, ten. Next one here. Name on top wins the puck. Amanda Keitel. I think that's how you pronounce it. Amanda, your last name. Wow. Jason would love that. Maybe there's a trade. Maybe Amanda. Maybe you're not a. I don't know. I don't know. But Amanda, that is, that is that is awesome. Have I told you how much I love this Mike Bossy puck, uh, Dave? You have. You have mentioned it on <laughs> and off stream, and I don't. Blame I have. You. That's a cool hit. Oh man, that's a real cool piece. That's he is the fun. coolest, the Hall of Famer, one of the best goal scorers. I mean, that's not an exaggeration in the history of the National Hockey League. Dang. <clears throat> Amanda, that's dope. All right. Very cool. Yeah, JSA, PSA. Dang. Dang. Congrats, Amanda. How we doing, Dave? We are doing well. Still no uh no more orders came in through. So we're still one. so we're pretty slow here. We are pretty wide open. It's been about just under 15 minutes before that last order, so maybe uh, it's all all up to you, Joe. But maybe a uh, a last call might be in order. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll see how we go here. Uh, I'm just checking guys in the chat and people in the chat room. Yeah, I hate the. I don't. I, I, look, I Daniel. I know 11 on the random, randomizer. Boom, boom, boom. Um, it, it's a while. Wow. Amanda says Jason Pilara PM me. Uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, Spearing on more bossy stats. 1100 points in only 10 seasons. I mean. It's a shame. I mean, Mike Bossy should have played another five, probably would have played another five, six years in the league. But again, a lot of injuries. The, the back, back, I mean, you get back injuries. Thank God I've never had a, you ever had a back injury? I, I can't call it an official back injury, but my, my back hurts every morning when I wake up. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I've had five, uh, five knee surgeries. Uh, oh four, four or five, I had a broken hip. I'll take those all day over back injuries. My back wife has a, a problem other, with her neck. Back's a whole nother league. Back and neck, forget it. I mean, I limp so what, right? I mean, I'm older. I don't. I don't care. But but I do not. You don't want back injuries. No, that'll that'll mess you up. Yeah, let's fill a few more spots, Jason. I agree, man. Let's uh, let's fill a few more spots here. It's only one o'clock, so uh, uh, we're an hour into our noon Central Time show at the at the UA Live Break Room. Um, yeah. I love to see the interaction in the chat amongst the, the customers. Um, Dennis, I have a tennis, Dennis Holstein Canadian jersey to let it go if anyone's interested. Yeah, we have we have a Dennis Hall, I've been saying before, in uh, in this series, the Slapshot series. A, uh, it says Game 8 Dennis Hall on a Team Canada jersey. The, the, uh, the, the, uh, the nameplate says Team Canada, that it's Hall, uh, it's the, the Dennis Hall signed Jersey, it's it's very cool. Game eight, referring to the Summit Series uh, in 1970. The uh, Google that if you want to know more about that series was fantastic. Um, basically, the the Soviet national team against the NHL All Star team, which was basically all Canadian players. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was very cool. That's funny. Yeah. Um, so again, I still got two boxes here on the slash. We got plenty more in the back room, but we we will break these. If uh, if we want to do that this afternoon, still looking to fill that up. I mean, it's only ten bucks yeah. a spot. It, it's the most affordable. Is that the right phrasing uh, so of any product I believe we've had here in our, yeah. albeit short history of the UA break room, which we've only been doing this the break room for a little less than a year and a half. Remember, guys, we only open these on Tuesday too. So if we don't Good fill point, it up David. today, we got to wait a week, wait seven whole days before we we get to open up and see. Uh, See what we got there. So it might. Uh, if you guys want to fill it up, we would love to to break that and end the end the stream right. Fonsworth uh, in the chat. Not sure if you've seen my message. I was working and missed most of the stream. Um, not sure if that was a. We had a little technical issue at the start of the show, right at noon. But then we've been fine, I believe. Knock on wood. Cameras are working. Uh, <laughs> uh, so everything is well. Sorry you missed that. But yeah, the hockey stuff we'll be doing only on Tuesdays. They bring us a great point. So I we've opened a lot of cool stuff, including that bossy puck and some other stuff today. But I know we have even cooler stuff left uh, in the series, and some of the stuff I'm looking at right now that you can't see on camera that 
that's in the room. So that could be in uh, one of these two boxes, or we got more in the room too. They're pretty much going in numerical order here as we pull them uh, from the back room uh, in, into here. So there's 14 and 16. Would love to open one, if not both of these boxes this afternoon. If not, we got to wait another week to do that hockey thing. Um, so we'll give it a few more minutes here and see if you're interested. Again, 10, 10 bucks a spot uh, and a chance to win a, a cool piece of signed NHL memorabilia. And, of course, they still want to do any football stuff. Another uh, AP mini series. Uh, haven't done any footballs today. Haven't done any helmets. We haven't done any helmets. I'm looking at five boxes here in the room. Complete NFL helmets. Got jerseys. Still got those general admission spots. Three more spots. On the, that's the hockey. That, that hockey thing. Let's uh -huh. do that hockey thing. Um, so three more. We got we to fill that out. Ten bucks. Dave, make call that, a friend. Can you, call, can you take a time out? Just call a friend uh, and say, hey, look, 30, come on, 30 bucks. I'll tell you so whatever what, we pull here is going to be worth more. Knowing my luck, if I called a friend and told him to buy in, they would win the headline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they one, would win it. Whoa, fired. what's going on in the There'd UA be a lot of questions surrounding me if that <laughs> happened. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> well, in all honesty, too, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because the integrity here is paramount, right, with, with, with any, any company. Um, but sometimes people will ask, like, how do you randomize the boxes? You know, basically, we box everything up that we have in a particular series. Um, and then we basically, we have them on a big table. We shuffle all the boxes. Uh, and that's how it, that's how it works. It's, it's not a machine or anything, uh, or a randomizing machine. We, we shuffle the boxes and then we randomly pull them out in box one of 60 box or box one of 40, however many products we have uh, in the series. And, that, and that's how we do it. Um, so to, yeah, because otherwise we would be like, Joe will be like, okay, I know there's the Marion Hosa puck in box three, so I'm gonna have my best friend call and request box three, then, and hopefully you, hopefully you win it then. Because so we don't, there, it's it's all on the up and up here. We we guarantee that, and if we didn't do it that way, uh, we wouldn't be doing UA live break groups. I mean, that's it's as simple as that. So I'm glad you brought that. I know you're you were joking, but in a way you weren't joking <laughs> because, because that is the honest to God's truth. So. Uh, still three spots left in uh, the hockey, Dave. Make that for hockey number I let six. This load. It should be full once this comes. Awesome! Through. There it is. Awesome! Thank you, everyone. Sold out. Beautiful. So we'll get that up in a second, and then we will open uh, one of these boxes here. And again, if you want to keep going, the bar is open. We're not closing until uh, you say so. Uh, but again, we'll be back uh, eight o'clock our normal time, eight p.m. Central time. Uh, tonight, I believe it's Donnie tonight. I think Gare Bear is off today. Um, I'll be uh, on the other side of the monitors tonight, along with the uh, the Don father of the UA break room, the great uh, Donnie Rollins. So, yeah, we'll do another hockey series. And uh, if anything else you want to get into, let us know in the chat. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep the door open here. Um, and we will uh, we'll do something else. Again, minis, mini helmet. Jersey, complete helmet, whatever you want to do. I could tell you too. This, this people will probably know this answer. You know, Dave, you've heard the phrase. Um, you know, anytime there's like a marquee player potentially available, like a Deshaun Watson, uh, it's a perfect example. They'll say, uh, you know, hey, you know, why would that team trade this great player? Well, they traded Wayne Gretzky. If Wayne Gretzky was traded. <laughs> Uh, Wayne Gretzky was, in fact, traded to, from the Edmonton Oilers uh, to the L.A. Kings. 19, I had to write it down, it was, it was 88, August of 88, along with two other players to Edmonton for uh, Jimmy Carson, who was a real good sniper. Martin Jelena, who was a decent player, I believe. Like three first-round picks, lots of, lots of cash, $15 million. Uh, Gretzky didn't go to uh, from Edmonton to L.A. alone. It was... Went with two other players. Can you name those players? Gretzky was sold. Uh, you're actually kind of right, Chris. He, yeah, they worked it out as a trade, but yeah, he was sold for, for the money for 15 million, uh, which 15 million is always a lot, but especially you know more than 30 years ago, it was it was a lot. So, but technically traded, uh, Chris. But you are absolutely correct. Um, so, what other two players went with Gretzky to L.A. in that uh, monster trade? 
I mean, can you imagine if it came out tomorrow? Deshaun Watson gets traded to some team for 20 mil and two, two just whatever players. Oh, man, people would lose their minds. Right, right. Sports, it's so crazy how different the sports landscape and the sports world and economy is just from 30 years ago. It's so, so, so crazy. Jonathan Lang, thanks for calling out the box. 16, and this might be our, our last item this afternoon. If, but again, if uh, you're interested, go to the UA Live Breaks page, and uh, uh, you can buy into some spots, and, and we'll, we'll do another series here. Again, it doesn't have to be, uh, doesn't have to be hockey. And before, uh, hey, before you broke the, break that one, Joe, if I see some love in the chat for, for a seventh slap shot, I'll go ahead and post that. I'm going to hold off until I get some love in there, and then I, I'd be more than happy to post that for you guys. Cool. Chris Spearing, right as always. Marty McSorley and Mike Krusalinski. Uh And Dave's like, I knew that. I should have known that. <laughs> uh, McSorley, of course, is his, basically his bodyguard, uh, and along with Mike Krusalinski. Yeah, Jimmy Carson went to uh, Edmonton. Jimmy Carson was a, he was a heck of a player. I want to say Jimmy Carson once scored 50 goals. Uh, great sniper. So, all right, here we go. Slap shot. Box 16 in our series of 40. We'll open the box, then we'll do uh, the randomizer. I think this is going to be sweet because I can tell you, this box is light. Not that hockey pucks are heavy. So what will be in here, you'll see here in a second, is a certificate. Not a certificate, just a piece of paper. We have this in the room I'm going to show it to you. This is a Bobby Hall autographed photo. And I... Fortunately, I brought it into the room this afternoon because I thought maybe if we break this, uh, we got to have it in the room. We, we can't just show you this. This is like, wow, a piece of paper. How exciting. Let me grab that here because this is very cool. Here we go. Check this out. I'm not quite sure. I don't have my, my ruler in the UA break room. Uh, the size of this, it looks like it's like 16 by 24, maybe? I believe that is a 16 by 20. 16 by it, 20. Just by my eye. Check this out. Bobby Hull, the Golden Jet, Hall of Fame, That's 1983 with the inscription, the toothless Bobby Hull. This is a real <laughs> popular photo um, that he signs a lot of, I know. But it's with the, uh, I think my, maybe his. Uh, 50th goal of the season, Puck. This is just, this, if this is an old school hockey, and I'll say this about Bobby Hall. I actually have a couple of Bobby Hall pieces myself. I have a signed Bobby Hall mini and a, uh, a autograph photo of Bobby Hall, not this photo. But Bobby Hall does a lot of signings, but you know what? He's Bobby Hall. And one of the best players ever in the National Hockey League. This And look at the beautiful signature. This This, this comes not framed. It comes like this, um, and you, you got to get this framed. Uh, we still do framing here uh, with with pro framing. Um, if you want to want to get that framed, let us know. Uh, let us know in the chat. But this <laughs> is cool. This is really cool. We have another one in the background. I don't know if it's part of this series. I don't think it is, but it has multiple inscriptions. So here's our list, and let's randomize this already, and let's see who uh, wins this fire fire on ice. How about that, Dave? I like that. I like that fire. <laughs> fire on ice. Black and white Bobby Hall. This looks cool. Um, in any room. Honey, we got a new addition to the bedroom. We have this uh, Bobby Hall photo. All right, 11 is our number today. 11. All right, next one. Next click, name on top, wins the uh, signed Bobby Hall black and white photo. It's Taylor. Beto? Taylor, I might, I might be uh, pronouncing, uh, butchering your last name, mispronouncing it. I apologize. Congratulations. You don't have to be a Blackhawk fan uh, to dig this. There's Taylor. 
Boom. Taylor, are you out there in the chat? Again, I've got some Bobby Hole pieces. This would, um, this would just be added to the room. That is, that is, that is too cool. What is that? What do you call it? We call it uh, the size of that. I think it's a sixteen by twenty. Sixteen by twenty. That'd be my guess. That, that looks, that looks right. Nice. Let me put this back so I don't doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't uh, get bent or anything like that. All right, thanks for participating, everybody. Taylor, uh, congrats on that. Are you a Blackhawks? I got you. Don't have to be a Blackhawks fan to appreciate that. The old school Bobby Hall uh, signed photo. So congratulations, MD Caps. That's Taylor. Dave, how are we doing uh, on any, anything else here? We're doing all right. Um, AP is about half full. I did post a Slapshot 7. No one's bought into that one okay. yet. Other than that, we are pretty wide open there. So, yeah, that's, that's where we're at. Taylor, fire is absolutely correct there. Fire on ice with the Bobby Hall photo, 16 by 20. So... Guys, um, again, we're only doing the hockey stuff on Tuesdays. Uh, thanks for participating. We opened uh, six six hockey boxes today. Very cool, um, and we will uh, we'll do it again next Tuesday. Back tonight in the break room again. These Tuesday breaks not strictly football, uh, uh, hockey. We have our football stuff too, plus our baseball stuff. The the general admission. Love anything hockey, mainly Washington Caps, but any old school hockey. Is an absolute beaut. There you go, right? Very cool. I'm not sure if we we had a TJ Oshie puck. Uh, I think it was the first box we opened last week. That was pretty dope on, on a Capitals puck. Um, not sure if we have anything other Capitals uh, stuff. We might. We have again. We have we have 40 products in this series, but we got more stuff in the back. Uh, and again, if there's more of an interest in the hockey stuff, please let us know. We'll try to get more uh, inventory because the hockey stuff is kind of new here. Um, again, some of the inventory had been, been sitting around for a while, and we finally decided let's. Uh, along came Joe. I'm kind of new here myself at UA, and um, I was like, I, I'm really excited about some of the stuff we have in the back room. So I'm glad we were able to break it here during our, which is usually uh, football heavy uh, breaks, as, as regulars of the uh, of the break room know. So uh, thanks again, everybody. It looks like uh, that might do it, David. What do you think here, buddy? I think so. Um, it's been pretty quiet here for the past about 10, 15 minutes. Oh, wait a minute. Let me just check hey, this man. one final order here. Let me see. Jason Poyer with the buzzer beater just bought out that AP. So we can end awesome. in style with that AP there. There you go. Nice job, Jason. Jason. Thank you. Thank you, my, my man. Let's rip AP. I got it, Jason. Let's do it. Let me see uh, the box numbers here on the AP. We still got, we got 8, 12, 13, and 14, I believe, uh, in the room. So, again, if you're in, uh, we'll have that posted in a second, AP3. Let's wait uh, until that's, I see it on the list, and then we'll give anyone a fair shot, whoever uh, wants to call on it. A box number, and then unless that hockey, then unless we fill another hockey series, uh, we will we will call it an afternoon here until we come back here tonight at 8 p.m. We'll uh, we'll do hockey again. Let's do that hockey thing. We'll do that next Tuesday uh, again. So, Jason, you want to call it 13? And that uh, that list is ready, right, Dave? AP three. That list is ready. All right, J yeah, Jason filled it out there with uh, four. Four spots. Thank you, brother. So we will do uh, box 13. I'll grab that, Dave. Let's randomize it first here. 11 times. And those are 
those that AP series with the minis, um, high end minis. They they're all they're all cool. I've yet to see one that's not uh, that cool. All right, there's our list. All right, 13. Let me grab box 13 in the uh, AP. Beckett, COA. Yeah, lucky 13. Let's see. I think you're going to like it. How about a Steeler great on a camo? Jerome Bettis. The bus. The bus, the bus is here. Fat. Is sweet. Those camos are that, fun. And that and, and a awesome signature too. AFC North. It's Jason. Jason, I hope you're excited. You you closed out the break. You win it. Nice hit, Jason. Look at that. That's real cool. Rydell. A great signature. Thirty six there. One of the best fullbacks. Ever. And he's a cool dude, too, if you get, you know. He is a cool dude. Jerome you know, Bettis. Uh, here's a little trivia for you. What, uh, what popular TV show did he make a cameo on? Ooh! Dave, way to close out the show. <laughs> a little trivia. Let's go! I gotcha. <laughs> I, I don't know that. I'll give you a... I'll is it a, rec a recent TV show? Or is it like more like when he was still playing with the Steelers? It's recent enough. Recent enough. Very popular. Matt, thank you. And I, I wondered about that. If you notice on the signature, can you see that? The dots at the end of the signature. Matt noting that he puts the dots in the loop at the end. Uh, it's supposed to be a bus and the <laughs> wheels on the bus. Now that, <laughs> I think funny. that just raised the value by 100 bucks alone. Just that part of it. I, I love that on the helmets when guys get clever with the inscriptions or that. Just the dots. The wheels on the bus. Matt, thanks for pointing that out. Very cool. Dang. Very cool. All right, well. well I, I dig the camos, too. Ooh. You know, I... Man. Yeah, those are fun. Aren't they? They're just um, good looking. Answer to the trivia, as long as no one's got a got an answer for me. And I'm sorry, is it, is, it, is it a newer TV show or an older one? Newer it's, one? It's my lifetime. Okay. okay. It's my lifetime. Um, but it's, it's still on the air? Nope. Okay. I don't know. I can tell you, you've probably watched it this year, though. Or you know, I can bet my life savings that you know somebody that has watched it this year. Is it uh, comedy? Yep. Someone's got to guess in the chat. <laughs> I don't know if they are going to guess. Um, I'll just, I'll give you the answer. All right, you can spill it. He was actually, he was on The Office for an episode. The Office? Was he? Yeah, he was at, um, he was at that trade show that Michael and Dwight went to, and Dwight goes up to Michael and goes, why do they call him the bus? <laughs> and then they, they invite him to a party. It's really funny. Uh, um, but yeah, he's a fun guy. That's, fun that's guy. cool. Yeah, he, um, The Office, my, my 17-year-old daughter is into that show. We... I don't know what channel it runs on cable. It, the, the reruns like this, the back to back to back, you know. Yeah. Uh, my, my daughter's totally into that show, and my, and my wife like doesn't get it at all. <laughs> but I've and I've watched it now, and it's like it is funny. It is so off the wall. Oh yeah, it's um, uh, it's funny, especially I think if you've wa worked in an office before, it is just <laughs> too funny. Yeah, my wife's like, I don't get it. I don't think it's funny. Oh, I'm like, no. it is funny actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, anyway, so very good. Enough. 
question. Great trivia question, Dave, to end the... Uh, Here we go. I think end the break. How are we doing? Anything else? Uh, I think that's about probably going to be the end of it. One twenty on this uh, Tuesday afternoon. It feels like Friday because really hopefully where you are here in Chicago in the suburbs, it's sun is out. I think it's 45 degrees. Are you kidding me? It was 40 when I was driving home from Man. work yesterday. It was nuts. So we're thrilled. Today. And no matter where you are in the country, hope the weather's finally... Uh, better. I know, again, we, we don't complain here in Chicago because other parts of the country have had it a lot worse, uh, especially the southern states. And So, in any event, uh, thanks for joining us this afternoon in the UA Live break room. That's Dave over there. Fantastic work as always. Much appreciated, my brother. Right back at you, Joe. Right back at Thank you. Thank you. Um, Joe Aguilar, thanks for everyone participating. Pulled a lot of fun stuff here this afternoon. We always do. I don't know if I've ever been a part of the show or watched uh, I'm a bit disappointed. So, um, did I hear you're interested in that whole photo? Um, yeah. Um, MD Caps. Uh, that's is that Amanda? Who was MD Caps again? In the uh, the slap shot six or uh, Taylor? Taylor. Uh, Wonder. So yeah, if you're uh, again in the chat, it's always cool. And people are like, you know, want to make a trade. You're more. Uh, if you want to do that, and before we ship it. If, if you want to do that, this this show, any show, let us know uh, while we're on the air here. Uh, then we can ship that. Because we, you know, uh, Stevie Two Jobs already shipping stuff. Like, I mean, I'm I'm hand I'm putting it down, and he's like grabbing it and, and getting it out quickly. I mean, uh, he's really good at his job. So it, we ship it like pronto. Um, so so let us know. So uh, in any event, you guys, you know how to reach each other, DM each other, whatever. Um, and uh, work out whatever you have to do. So anyway, uh, that'll probably do it for us on this uh, Tuesday afternoon. Again, we thank you for joining us, for uh, participating. We'll see you back here tonight, uh, 8 p.m. Central Time. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. You'll be back here uh, Wednesday with whom? Was that uh, Gare Bear? If I had to guess. It's Gare Gare or Guy. It's not me. So, Yeah. Well, hey, you guys have a great rest of your day, guys and ladies. And, um, yeah, we will see you guys later. Yeah, if you're interested in the whole, uh, Taylor's saying uh, you can uh, send an email, mdcaps20. Uh, okay, very good. So that'll do it for us again. For Dave, I'm Joe. Have a good rest of your afternoon. We will see you later.